Welcome back. Thank you for joining us today. Now we've been talking about the wrist and first we discussed wrist pain, then we talked about carpal tunnel syndrome, and I had mentioned what happens if we get a fracture right here or a break of the wrist. So throughout our life, we often have falls. Sometimes when we're younger, sometimes as we're older, sometimes it's just an oops or you slip on something. And what often happens is you put your arm down to brace your fall and you have what's called a foosh injury, fall on an outstretched arm. When that, or our hand, when that happens, their forces coming right at your hand and right into your wrist joint often leads to a fracture of your radius bone and sometimes it catches your, your ulna bone over here. The result can be surgery or even just splinting to help set the fracture in your bone so they heal correctly. Unfortunately, when you come out of the splint or even after you've had surgery and you're placed in a splint, you lose a lot of forearm rotation, a lot of wrist motion, as you might expect, because you have swelling and then you're stationary for a long period of time. Most traditional physical therapy, you'll start doing light motion. You're gonna make sure your fingers get moving. You work on some dexterity, maybe sensory desensitization, so that way you're not hypersensitive. But one of the things that's important to look at is again, as we've been talking, is what's happening with the forearm muscles. When you have an injury, like a fall on an outstretched hand, your nervous system goes into protective mode. Your body is gonna guard, not only because you have pain, but you have had trauma, and you have a fear of falling again, possibly. All of those things add stressors to your life, so you're gonna go into fight or flight mode. When that happens, your body tenses up, other things can happen. So if you're in a splint for a long period of time, sometimes people will get frozen shoulder. Sometimes they'll get something called complex regional pain syndrome or RSD, reflex sympathetic disorder or dystrophy. And you'll get different nerve pains that go through your hand and arm. Those are complicated situations and can be addressed earlier rather than later if you know how to calm down the nervous system. When we work with people here at the Paver Institute, we work on calming down the nervous system right off the bat because I know and I've seen the problems that happen later on just from a simple wrist fracture. And again, I say simple, you know, in comparison when you have a couple of different conditions added on top of that. Simple with a fracture is never simple, but when you have other conditions that start to develop, that becomes a more serious problem and it affects your life and can be affected for a year or two unless you know how to calm down those symptoms right away. So if you're coming out of the splint and you're starting your traditional physical therapy, really consider looking at your forearm muscles, your upper arm muscles, and the whole position of your, your trunk, your rib cage, your shoulder, and working on calming down your nervous system. Sometimes you might even need some training for your lower body to give you more stability to help you with that fear of falling as well. The joints will feel very stiff in your wrist after you come out of a splint. Some of that is because of the swelling that happens and if the swelling is not addressed early on, either through massage or icing or both, it becomes hard. When that happens, massage is going to be one of the best things for you, but also movement to help push the fluid out of the area. Also along with this is learning how to breathe to, con to relax the muscles in your forearm so that way the tendons don't pull so tightly in a protective manner. We want them to learn how to relax so it helps your wrist become mobile again and even your forearm become mobile. If you have questions about this, please send me an email, amy at powerinstitute.com and shoot me some questions that you may have. If you need help for getting treatment, let me know. I'd love to hear from you and thanks again for joining. Bye.